Uh, hi, I'm Harley. I'm an eighth grader from Hastings Middle School. Consider this coming out. Are you a boy or a girl? Kind of. I can't avoid that question. It follows me around like stepped on gum on the bottom of my shoe. It follows me into the public, not even caring to hide. People I hardly know saying, I'm confused. Are you male or female? I wish I had an answer. It follows me into school, taking shapes in the curious eyes. Kids from other grades, I'm sorry, man, woman? Substitutes taking one look at me and then another and one more. He, she? Sometimes we take surveys, dumb, anonymous surveys that don't need your name, but I guess they need to know what's between your legs. Sometimes I'm lucky and there's an other, or a I prefer not to say option, but sometimes there's not. I've learned to love the confusion furrowing in their eyebrows when they see me. I've learned to appreciate how ambiguous I am, but I still haven't learned to tell what to say to the substitutes and the strangers. After all, there is no other in a verbal conversation. I, find, I hardly find other or all bathrooms, so which do I use? Here's my rules of thumb. Women's at school, men's at poetry slams, women's when I'm taken to church. Men's, when the people who don't know me surround me, still I'm asked, are you a boy or a girl? Pants or skirts? Cologne or perfume? Blue or pink? I don't know! The indigo goes and mixes with the magenta in my mind violently. And suddenly there's no blue and pink. Violet. The violet of the pillows I rest my head on. The violet of my favorite t-shirt. For almost a decade, I would only wear, wear violet glasses. At last, I've switched to my first pair of black glasses, but still violet is all I can see. Violet is everything to me. The walls of my safe space are painted purple. My favorite shoes are my violet, my violet converse, and purple is my other option, so please, don't ask me if I'm a boy or a girl. Even I don't know the answer. So I might just end up saying purple.